There it is. My authentic Devonshire bill hook. That's fantastic. All hand forged. All with water power. All with water power as well. You couldn't get more authentic than that, I don't think. I hope that gives you many years of good service. Armed with his brand new Devon bill hook, Alex is ready to take on the farm's unmanaged hedgerows. This is exactly the problem that we're having here on the farm. This hedge and this hedge bank simply hasn't been maintained properly. And as a consequence, we're getting vast gaps here, which are sheep tired of this field. They're running off into pastures that we actually want to use later in the winter. And the reason this isn't working as a stockproof barrier is simply because it isn't being laid properly or pleached, as they say, in this part of the world. And it's a skill that we are rapidly losing, so I'm desperate to try my hand at it to see if I can, uh, can hedge as good as the next man. And with my new bill hook, I'm hoping I shouldn't have any problems. To teach him this ancient rural craft, hedge layers from the Blackdown Hills Hedge Association have arrived on the farm. Thanks ever so much for coming down. And they've brought their own selection of bill hooks for the job. That, that's a, a typical Devon. Some of them had more of a hook on. Right, a uh, tentadon pattern. A tentadon? That's yes. Kent, isn't it? Kent, Kent yeah. Right, that's actually quite similar to that one, that's isn't similar. it? This is from Yorkshire. Yorkshire? So, so it's a big... That's a big old beast, isn't it? So for a lot more, two hand, you can use it two-handed as, as well as single-handed. Right, OK. Um, and it has a thin blade. Yep. So you can get in where you can't get an axe in, right. between stems. Right, oh, I see, I see. Um, but that gives you an idea then of the, the kind of variation you're getting throughout the country yep. in the different styles of billhook. You just cut it down in the direction you want it to go. So right. if you want it to go straight up through, you put it 90 uh, degrees that way. The head. George has been laying Devon hedges since he was a boy. Yeah, I've been doing it 45 years and I'm still learning. Never, you never learn on this. Every hedge is different. Once any excess or dead foliage has been removed from the hedge, the bare stems, or pleachers as they're known, are laid flat. Still actually attached to the base. You can see this bit of bark wood in here. That's allowing the goodness that the roots are collecting from the soil to travel up this part of the plant and along the horizontal. Once the pleacher is down, all the, the dormant buds that are along there, they'll get the sunlight. So that's where they will grow up from. One, two, three, all very evenly spaced. Yep. And what you're saying is they're going to chase yep. the light. Exactly. They're going to look for the light and that's going to create our stop-proof boundary. Is that the idea? Yeah. One thing I'm already picking up on is the fact that this isn't as simple as it looks, actually, just a case of laying all the various decisions you happen to make as you're working with the hedge, trying to decide what you're going to lay, how you're going to use it, what you're going to take out, how you're going to use different species. It's, um, it's actually quite a lot to learn, so I uh, just have to keep my wits about me today and listen out and hopefully I'll be able to pick up some of the tricks of the trade. A well-maintained hedge acts not only as a stock-proof boundary, but as a habitat for wildlife.